Halo World Background The human world encounters extraterrestrial civilizations, and distant colonial stars fall one after another. Faced with the Star Alliance, whose technological level and physical strength far exceed that of humans, humans are constantly retreating without any resistance. Young Fan, a cultivator, traveled through the Halo world and became a student of the Spartan 3rd Alpha Company. In this era of composing epic and tragic songs with life, can a cultivator change their destiny against the heavens? How come the energy weapons of the Star Alliance have such high spiritual energy? These bastards use spirit stones as batteries. The plasma energy engine of the starship surprisingly has the same effect as the spiritual pulse. Watch me control the grenade with the Yu Wu technique. When I cross the tribulation and become an immortal, I will tear down the starship with my bare hands. Chapter 1 Tragic Traversing You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the year 2531 of the military calendar, the human distant colony planet. Jericho 7 A four-year-old child lay among a pile of corpses with his eyes open. Two furry, gorilla-like orcs were fighting. Ah you eat outside, this room is mine. Damn it, it's mine. You've eaten too much. The child's eyes twitched as they watched two monsters over two meters tall fight. These two monsters have thick hair, thick limbs, and large blood vessels, resembling orcs. This is not earth, what is in front of us is not humanity, and I, have traveled through it. The guns inserted into the waist of the two monsters, Yang Fan was very certain that they were hot weapons, and also long dot range weapons of extraterrestrial civilization. So he didn't move, he didn't dare to move. The defeated monster was gnawing on a corpse, and the defeated one roared and left. That body is the father of this child. Blood, bones, all were chewed and swallowed. Then, the monster picked up a corpse and chewed it heavily. Young Fan still didn't move, but tears streamed down his face. According to physical memory, that was his mother. Growing up sucking on the woman's milk from a young age, the warm embrace has now turned into blurry flesh and blood. The beautiful head rolled down before his eyes. Young Fan didn't even dare to close his eyes. He was frantically using the qi refining technique, and his current body was a four-year-old child, absolutely unable to defeat this monster. This planet is rich in spiritual energy, much stronger than Earth. He needs to cultivate to the level of qi refining before the monster eats him. Even if these monsters are gods and demons, he will kill them. Otherwise, it would be too disrespectful to Yang Fan's predecessor's cultivation during the Mahayana period. Your father is my father. Your mother is my mother. Your hatred is my hatred. Rest assured, child. Refining one layer, get up. After ten minutes, he finally succeeded in his cultivation. Now young Fan's physical fitness is basically equivalent to that of an ordinary adult man. But he still didn't move. Because even an ordinary adult man cannot defeat the monster in front of him. He needs to find opportunities. After the monster was full, it lay on the ground and started snoring. Yang Fan gently moved over without daring to take the weapon from the monster's waist. He didn't know how to use this weapon, nor did he know how loud the weapon was firing. There should be other monsters outside, and he didn't dare to take such a risk. Looking out from the door, there is a green grassland outside, and there is also farmland not far away. Various unidentified flying machines danced in the sky. There is a kitchen knife and an iron rod in the room. This monster is probably difficult to kill even with bullets, and a kitchen knife is absolutely useless. Yang Fan picked up the iron rod, raised it high, and aimed it at the monster's mouth. Heaven and earth are boundless. Chen Kuen borrowed the method. The iron rod in his hand suddenly became several times heavier. Taking advantage of the falling momentum of the iron rod, Yang Fan fiercely inserted the rod into the monster's throat. Snoring sobbing, the monster felt pain and stood up directly. Yang Fan's four-year-old body was suspended in mid-air, 
holding an iron rod. Damn it, this won't die. Young Fan was very anxious. The monster reached out and wanted to pull out the iron rod from its mouth. Heaven and earth are boundless. Heaven and earth borrow the Dharma. Young Fan spat out a mouthful of blood and used his essence and vitality to activate the gravity technique. With a heavy body, he used the iron rod as a pry bar and directly lifted the monster's head halfway off its neck. With a clang, the monster convulsed and collapsed. Young Fan didn't care to wipe away the blood from his mouth, so he picked up the accessory gun from the monster and hid behind the door. What's going on? Another monster walked over outside the door. I was stunned to see this scene. Not good. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. There's a demon. Oh no. When the monster shouted, all the flying machines in the sky gathered here. Is it really the fate of Yang Fan? They all traveled to ancient times, but he happened to run to the future. At the very least, it is also a futuristic world with ASCI Dotify background. He kept silently reciting in his heart. System Dad comes out, System Grandpa comes out, System Grandpa comes out, what kind of damn pen system are you giving me? No one responded to him at all. Looking out from the crack in the door, six aircraft have already stopped outside. There is a large vehicle with four thrusters at the bottom. There are at least thirty monsters standing outside, big and small. Among them, five appear extremely dangerous, not only wearing exquisite armor, but also holding weapons like laser swords in their hands. It seems that they hold a high position among monsters and should be considered elite warriors. The gorilla monster that had just shouted for help was slapped down by the warrior in white armor at the front. What are you shouting about? Where are the demons? Where are the enemies? When this elite warrior speaks, his chin is divided into four lobes, like a bug's mouthpiece, and a row of sharp teeth can be seen inside each of the four lobes. If it weren't for the technological sophistication of their equipment, Yang Fan would almost have thought he had traveled into a horror movie. Inside, Tatopic's head was twisted off. It must be a demon. The demon has appeared. Upon hearing these words, there was a commotion among the monsters outside, as if they were a bit scared. You go in and take a look. The white armor elite kicked a small man next to him. The small monster is only over one meter tall, with a mask on its head like an oxygen mask connected to a tube. I, I. I'll go take care of my sister, her children, and. Fuck you. He kicked the little monster into the room with one kick. The little monster rolled around twice with a loud roar, then fired a small weapon randomly in the room. Bear the anger of King Gugu. Ah! Anger! Young Fan saw clearly and held his hand on the middle handle. A pinch of the little monster's paw will shoot a light ball. It was this light ball that felt a bit familiar, and he suddenly felt a lot of spiritual energy in the room. How could these monsters have spirit stones as their energy source? Damn it, each spiritual stone on earth costs one billion. After a commotion, the little monster looked around and met Yang Fan behind the door. After being stunned for a few seconds, the little monster shouted out, There is no devil, only one human child, shorter than me. Ho 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 ho. Ghost-faced beasts are just at this level, a bunch of losers. They're really losing face from the Star Alliance. Let's go. Unexpectedly, all the troops outside the door had withdrawn, and the group of monsters returned to the aircraft. Soon, they all scattered in all directions. Only the Gugu King remained in place, curiously gazing at the child. Young Fan was sweating in his heart, even such a powerful gorilla monster was easily knocked away by that elite. Fortunately, they didn't come into the house, otherwise they would have died on their own. The little monster in front of him was almost as tall as himself, and he didn't look very smart. It was the other person holding a gun, and Yang Fan didn't dare to act rashly. King Gugu, I have something fun. Do you want it? The little monster was taken aback and said, 
what fun thing. Show it to King Gugu. If it's really fun, I'll shoot you to death later. Wipe Yang Fan is not sure how much intelligence this monster has, or whether the other person's spirit is normal. What if it's not fun? The little monster pointed at the puzzled gorilla monster outside and said, If it's not fun, I'll throw you to the ghost-faced beast to eat. Yang Fan smiled, holding the gun in his right hand and hiding it behind his back, while his left hand gathered the power of the fire spirit and rubbed out a small fireball. A small fireball floats in the air, emitting bright flames and heat. Ha! Huh. Is this a fire? Ah! Fire, fire! Quickly put out the fire! King Gugu is afraid of fire! Fuck you! Yang Fan fired a shot at the head of the little monster. With a few clicks, this little thing's head was opened. The weapons of these monsters are not gunpowder weapons, their sound is very light, more like laser weapons in movies. The ghost-faced beast outside the door saw Yang Fan and roared angrily, landing on all fours and rushing in. Yang, with a massive body of nearly 2.5 meters, is like a small mountain. Yang Fan was horrified and kept firing his gun. Surprisingly, this weapon could not penetrate the opponent's body and could only make the furry guy scream. Then he was slapped away by the ghost-faced beast. The gun was thrown away, and others were bumped into a corner of the wall. The ghost-faced beast rushed over like a gorilla. I'm dead set this time. A bloody smell accompanied by a foul odor in the nose. Is this smell methane? He saw green gas constantly emitting from the backpack behind the corpse of the little monster on the ground. Grass mud horse, your hair is thick, isn't it? I made you thick. A fireball shot out, and the body of the little monster happened to be at the foot of the ghost-faced beast. There was an explosion, and the temperature of the flames, accompanied by the shock wave of the explosion, knocked down the wooden house. The ghost-faced beast howled and fled, while Yang Fan was trapped in the ruins and unconscious. In his sleep, he seemed to have returned to Earth, back to 2024, back to his own sect. If given a choice, he would rather live a life like a king on Earth. As a cultivator in the technological era, the Mahayana cultivator is one of the top beings in the world. It's really frustrating to die in the hands of these monsters now. If I had known not to forcibly cross the tribulation, countless cultivators, how many people could cross the tribulation and become immortal sigh. At least, at least I avenged myself, and the memories of two lifetimes gradually merged. A wave of warmth surged in Yang Fan's heart. That beautiful woman always called herself a treasure, always holding herself in her arms, so warm, so happy. Mom! I have avenged you! Chapter 2 The Power of Plasma Grenades You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. There are signs of life here. John, this child is still alive. I'll take him with me, be careful and be on guard. Yang Fan opened his eyes and saw three people wearing green armor in front of him. They must be humans. Full coverage armor, looks like a human in style, with hands, feet, and body proportions all human. There is also a hat on the head that looks like a motorcycle helmet. This person's armor still has three numbers written on it. 117, what's your name, kid? I, I don't remember. You're lucky. Come with me and we'll take you home. I don't have a home anymore. They ate my parents. Silence, a moment of silence. Yang Fan was completely awake. He cleared the rubble and found a head under a wooden wall. That's his mother, her body is gone, at least take her head away and bury it as a grave. He lifted the wooden wall with force, but it was a whole wall, which was too heavy for a child on the first floor of Qi refining. A small figure, biting its teeth and desperately lifting the wooden wall, with tears in its eyes. Big guy, help me take out my mom. My name is John. The soldier in 117 armor lifted the wooden wall with one hand and threw it out from a distance. Yang Fan held his mother's head in his arms. 
Big guy, you have great strength. John shook his head and said, You seem to have more strength, little one. Let's go, we're going to retreat. Yang Fan asked, Retreat. Where are the others? You are the only survivor left. The whole village. John remained silent for two seconds and said, The whole planet. Yang Fan's pupils suddenly contracted. A small figure hugged ahead and followed behind three armored soldiers. There are four moons in the sky, which shine brightly on the ground even at night. The sound of explosions and machine gun fire could be heard in the distance. The road is full of various corpses. There are ghost faced beasts, human soldiers, and human warriors wearing armor. Yang Fan is practicing, even when walking, he is still running the most basic qi refining method. The body strength of the ghost-faced beast is at least around the golden elixir period. If we calculate purely based on strength, the number of human warriors around us may also be similar. Big guy, have you ever fought an alien with a four-petal mouth? I fought, I've killed quite a few. I want to learn your skills, can you be my master? I'm afraid I don't have time to teach you. However, I can introduce you to my instructor. His name is Mendez and he is a very strict person. Really really, is it a deal? It's a deal. John turned to his two teammates and said, Accelerate your pace. We killed several high-dot-level elites along the way, and their whereabouts must have been discovered by the Star Alliance. Hurry up to the evacuation point as soon as possible. A flame ignited in Yang Fan's heart. There is spiritual energy in this world and these people's bodies cannot be ordinary humans. In this world, he is absolutely confident in crossing the tribulation and becoming an immortal. He hugged his head tightly in his arms again and swore in his heart. He wanted to cultivate and become stronger. Walk through the grassland and enter a small forest. Suddenly, everyone stopped at the same time. Young Fan watched cautiously around, his expression somewhat tense. No one spoke, John was a bit surprised. He and his teammates discovered energy fluctuations, and there was a great possibility that there were invisible elite warriors nearby. He lowered his head to look at the children beside him, and surprisingly, the little one stopped moving like them and didn't ask a word. That is to say, this four-year-old child may have also discovered an abnormal situation. They are wearing Mark V Thor hammer armor and equipped with a dynamic reconnaissance radar system. How could this little guy possibly discover the enemy? But he didn't have time to think so much. The fluctuation is getting closer and closer to them, and the enemy should have discovered them earlier than they did. A great war is on the verge of breaking out. The three immediately picked up their assault rifles and slowly dispersed outwards. Ho 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 ho! Foolish human soldiers, how dare you kill our warriors? I will tear you to pieces. John turned around and said, I saw you. You're lying to me, stupid. At the same time, everyone, including Yang Fan, began shooting in one direction. Ah! There was a ripple in the air, and an elite warrior wearing grey battle armor appeared. He had an energy shield on his body, blocking all bullets. The elite warrior was agile and jumped behind a big tree. Impossible, how did you discover me? No one answered, only Yang Fan kept shooting at the tree. The energy weapons of Xingmen have extremely high killing power, and in just a few strokes, they cut off half of the trunk of that tree. John and several other soldiers circled towards the back of the tree. Ah! Yang Fan felt a pain in his hand and his gun fell to the ground. I didn't expect this energy weapon to get hotter and hotter when fired continuously, and eventually burned his hand. Drip, with a soft sound, a round light ball the size of a ping-pong ball flew from behind the tree. Young Fan looked up and felt a majestic spiritual energy drifting towards his face. He didn't know what it was, but it was definitely not fun. The enemy definitely didn't just want to send him an energy battery, so he took a step aside and dodged the light ball. Run quickly, that's a plasma grenade. John rushed towards Yang Fan and flew towards him. 
Upon hearing his words, Yang Fan's hair stood on end. There was no cover by his side now, and even if it was a grenade from his past life, he would definitely die. He felt a strong and dense spiritual energy gathering and expanding within the sphere of light, as if it was about to explode at any moment. He had no way out and was now in a situation of imminent death. At a critical moment, Yang Fan's mind was thinking rapidly. Energy equals spiritual energy. Since death is inevitable, it's better to try to absorb this spiritual energy. If you die, hang yourself in the sky. If you don't die for thousands of years, there is no other choice. He had been running the qi refining technique all along, but now he is crazily stimulating the true qi in his body, and even reaching out his hand, wanting to directly pick up the shining little light ball. This time, he won the bet. The light on the small ball gradually dimmed, and a huge energy rushed towards Yang Fan's veins. Yang Fan is only a four-year-old child now, and he doesn't have time to warm his body with spiritual energy, nor does he have time to stabilize his cultivation. Now he can only crazily devour the spiritual energy on the ball, his small body as if about to explode, with blood flowing from his eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. But he couldn't stop because once he stopped at this moment, these energies would condense towards the center of the sphere, and such a high concentration of spiritual energy would inevitably produce an explosion. John rushed over and hugged Xiao Yang Fan, rolling out two meters away. Bang with a loud bang, the two of them were pushed one meter away by the explosive waves. Fortunately, John blocked the shock wave with his body, otherwise Yang Fan's weak body would have been blown to pieces. Ha! Huh. Why did the plasma grenade explode so slowly? The elite warrior looked out and didn't notice a figure behind him holding a military knife and thrusting it into his neck. Under the intense impact, Yang Fan fainted, and at the last moment he could hear John coughing. Obviously, his armor could not fully counteract the power of the grenade. Chapter 3 The gap between me and him is even greater than that between him and the ghost beast. You are listening at NovelFull.audio a white ceiling, a white bed, and a nurse wearing white clothes next to her. A smell of alcohol disinfectant seeped into the nose. This is a hospital. Did you wake up, kid? Yes, sister, where am I? Where is John? John. You're talking about a sergeant, right? He sent you back and then went out on a mission. Is he okay? Of course it's okay, said the nurse with an enchanted expression. He's the most powerful Spartan warrior. How could anything happen, Yang Fan recalled that the energy contained in that explosion was very massive, at least a full blow from a first-level cultivator in the Golden Elixir period. Not to mention within two meters, even if he lies within five meters, he will definitely die. Alien technology is truly terrifying. It seems that human armor is also quite powerful. The nurse in front of her is just an ordinary mortal, with no spiritual fluctuations on her body. There are also some soldiers who look very strong on the other hospital beds beside them, and they do not have spiritual energy. It seems that humans have not practiced qi refining, and these soldiers are just physically stronger. This is a room like a hall, with over a dozen beds arranged inside, separated by curtains. He and the several beds next to him were probably slightly injured, and the curtains were not closed. A strong man beside him was reading a pornographic magazine with his eyes lit up. The nurse followed his gaze and her face changed, pulling up the curtain next to her. She said gently, little friend, you should have recovered almost. Let me help you check. Look at the light in your sister's hand. The nurse in front of her held a flashlight high, shining a soft green light inside. Yang Fan looked up. Very good. It's over here now. The nurse placed the flashlight again at the three o'clock position of Yang Fan. Next is six o'clock, and finally nine o'clock. Yang Fan rotated his neck according to the instructions and followed the light source to look. Great, there's no problem with the nerve reflex, and all other examination reports are normal. You can get up now, 
little one. After Yang Fan got up, he stood by the hospital bed for a while, not knowing where to go, when a gurgling sound came from his stomach. He he, you're hungry. You go out and follow the corridor to the end, then turn right and there's a cafeteria. Go eat something yourself. Thank you, sister. At this moment, several soldiers walked into the door. At first, there was a person who was about two meters tall, with a big beard on his face, and looked a bit fierce and malevolent. He followed four men around 1.8 meters behind him. Except for big beard, these few people are all holding guns, so they should be soldiers in the army. These people walked up to Yang Fan and looked at the card on his hospital bed, asking, is that what John said about this little guy? A soldier on the side said, yes sir, this is one of the personnel rescued from Jericho. Hmm. Big Beard walked back and forth in front of Yang Fan, shaking his head as he walked. No, no, too weak. This little chick has the same physique. Upon hearing these words, Yang Fan felt somewhat unhappy. What do you mean? I personally killed a ghost-faced beast. Yo, upon hearing this, Big Beard became interested. He crouched down and asked, have you ever seen a ghost-faced beast? Yes, sir. Still killing one with your own hands? Yes, sir. What weapon was used? Iron rod, sir. Ha ha ha. Big Beard stood up and covered his stomach, laughing loudly. Little thing, boasting is not a skill. If you say you have killed a wild boar beast, I may still believe you a bit. But if you say a ghost-faced beast, then the cow skin will blow the sky. The soldiers on the side also laughed. Yang Fan didn't speak, just looked at the other person coldly. Big Beard saw his gaze and put away his smile. The two of them looked at each other like this, their needles pointing at the wheat on, and neither of them had a weak aura. With a tall beard and a sharp gaze, Big Beard said, Don't you intend to explain how you killed a ghost-faced beast? What's there to explain? It's just a ghost-faced beast, it's not like it bombed the Star League's hometown. I'm not one of those useless soldiers, I'll kill an enemy and write a report for you. As soon as Yang Fan said this, the other soldiers stopped laughing. This is provocation, a provocation against the soldiers. They are all carefully selected warriors who have gone through the baptism of war, each with injuries, so they have now retired to the second line to be responsible for the affairs of the training camp. In their eyes, the child's words went from a joke to a less funny joke. Not convinced. Yang Fan continued to provoke. He saw the sign on Big Beard's chest clearly, which read. First Class Sergeant, Franklin Mendez. This person is John's instructor. That is to say, he came to recruit himself into the army. As Mendez just said, it seems that he looks down on himself very much. This attitude is very subtle and can easily make Yang Fan lose the opportunity to enter the army. He knew very well that soldiers like John who wore super armor must be special forces, and other ordinary soldiers didn't wear as handsome as he did. So Mendez must be a special forces instructor. He cannot miss this opportunity, even if he speaks wildly and makes these soldiers unhappy, he has to express his attitude. I am very powerful. Not accepting me is your loss. Mendez frowned, and the soldier beside him had a pale face. Young Fan, a four-year-old doll with hands on his back, said confidently, Well, how about I make a bet with you? Oh. What bet? I can defeat your subordinates. You choose one of the four of them to fight me. Dare you? Mendez's eyes began to doubt. He didn't understand why the little thing was so arrogant, and the child didn't look like he was losing his mind. At this point, he was already somewhat moved. After all, this child was recommended by John, and he had never heard John praise anyone except for this child. How? I dare not. You should be very clear that in terms of physical fitness, the gap between me and them is even greater than between them and the ghost beast. Yes, Mendez answered seriously. 
so, I will make them take off their protective equipment, not use weapons, and fight with you empty-handed. So you can beat me better, right? Yes. These soldiers belonged to the United Nations Space Command and wear various armor pieces such as chest, armor, and leg protectors outside their regular military uniforms. They also carry standard military knives and magnum pistols. After taking off these equipment and armor pieces, the man in front of him looks even stronger. He has well-developed muscles and a strong physique, and the tactical vest outlines the perfect lines on his body. Yang Fan felt a bit carried away, as if he had blown the cowhide too far. Previously absorbed the spiritual energy of a grenade, he is now on the second level of qi refining, and his physique is only slightly stronger than that of an ordinary adult male, equivalent to a half-hearted fitness coach. Dealing with opponents of this physique is really not easy. He doesn't want to expose his knowledge of magic. If someone else finds out about this, he might have to be taken and sliced for research. So there is only one method for this battle. Intelligence Chapter 4 Intelligent Acquisition of Hell Paratroopers You are listening at NovelFull.audio Give you one minute to defeat me, otherwise you'll be a scumbag. Young Fan made a face and immediately slipped into the nearby curtain. The soldier on the other side was taken aback, then stomped his foot in anger and said, Wait until I catch you, I won't smash your butt. Wait a minute. Sergeant Mendez stopped him and said seriously, Don't leave your hands. Sir, he's only four years old. I said, Don't leave your hands behind. Just like during regular training, just don't kill them. Yes, sir. This has made the soldier a bit embarrassed. How did he do it when he beat a four-year-old child to death? At this moment, inside the curtain of the next bed, the man was still looking at the magazine with a squint on his face. Young Fan snatched his magazine and said, Uncle, there's someone outside who wants to have sex with you. Ah. Really? I, I, don't make a fuss. The sturdy man's face immediately turned red. Really, he's coming in soon. You need to be prepared. What does it mean? Before the man could react, a man as strong as him pulled open the curtain and walked in. See if I catch you and don't kill you. The man on the sick bed suddenly became angry. This is a damn man, or a burly man of the same size as himself. He jumped out of bed and wrestled with the soldiers. After being punched twice, the soldier was also confused. What are you doing? Fuck you. Then the two of them got into a real fight, punching each other. Quickly hugged each other and rolled outside. Yang Fan was not idle either. He swam around the two of them, pulling his hand aside, tripping, and always using his small fist to greet the soldier's nose at critical moments. This soldier has experienced several battles and is a veteran on the battlefield with rich combat experience. Even so, both sides only drew. Yang Fan also got a kick in the stomach, almost kicking him out of breath. It seems that this guy is really not keeping his hands, and that old man is also not keeping his hands. Ahem, with a mournful cry, the soldier lay on the ground, covering his legs. This flick of his genital foot made him feel a bit heavy, and he didn't wear any armor. Now his mouth is crooked, his eyes are crooked, and his nose is running. Lousy, are you still single? Mendez covered his face and said, I told you not to keep your hands. Yang Fan wiped his nose and smiled, I didn't stay. The remaining three soldiers glared at him angrily. Can you accept me now? Mendez smiled and said, Take you. What are you doing? Sweeping the floor and cooking. I want to become a warrior like John. Mendez nodded and said, Hmm. I can give you a chance. He crouched down and touched Yang Fan's head with a smile, Welcome to join the Hell Training Camp. Yang Fan smiled. He turned around and pulled up the soldier lying on the ground, saying, Sorry brother, I hit a bit hard, otherwise I wouldn't be able to beat you. Please forgive me, I have my own grievances. Mendez's pupils shrank, 
and the soldier's weight was at least around 100 kilograms. This child could lift him up with just one hand, so it seems that this kid is indeed a bit of a cult. Yang Fan took out a bag from under the bed and held it in his arms. He saw it when he got out of bed just now. The mother's head in the bag has been wrapped well without any odor, and there is some white powder sprinkled on it, which should be a preservative. Mendez was a little curious and said, What is this? It's my mother's head. Silence, the noise on the scene seems to have decreased. Do you have any other relatives? Report sir, I have parents. Except for the one in my hand, everything else is in the belly of the ghost beast. It's the ghost beast I killed. I used an iron rod to stick it into that guy's mouth while he was asleep. The small body stood straight, with no sadness on its face, only a fiery and determined gaze. Silence, even the onlookers remained silent. Mendez raised his hand and saluted Yang Fan. Then four soldiers also saluted the child. At this moment, no one will still underestimate him. Three days later, the training camp will officially gather, and Yang Fan can rest well during these three days. Mendez has taken people away, and he has to go and select other children. Now Xiaoyang Fan has become a celebrity in the hospital because he defeated a semi-retired hell paratrooper. After hearing about the responsibilities of the hell paratroopers, Yang Fan felt that he had gone too far. He shouldn't have treated a soldier who rushed to hell and still came back alive like that. The hell paratroopers are affiliated with the United Nations Space Command and are officially known as the Orbital Airborne Assault Force. The areas where they parachute are usually the areas with the strongest enemy firepower or heavily defended. The mission of the Hell Paratroopers is to eliminate the enemy in the area and protect the landing area of the official troops, so that other landing spacecraft can bring reinforcements from the landing team to arrive. They need to take an attack capsule to land from the universe to the ground, as it will rub against the atmosphere midway, generating unbearable high temperatures for ordinary people. In the end, it will also shake due to impact on the ground, and ordinary people with slightly weaker bodies will die directly. So, the slogan of these fugitives is. Our feet are the first to step into hell. Why don't you eat it? Seeing Yang Fan holding a chicken leg in his mouth in a daze, the nurse sister reached out and shook her hand in front of him. It's nothing, how did sister know so well? My boyfriend is a hell paratrooper. The nurse's nose was sore, and a tear fell onto the table. She quickly wiped the tear marks on her face with her hand. Judging from the girl's expression, Yang Fan knew what had happened without asking. He said, let me help you seek revenge. Silly child, now is the time for you to grow a body. You need to wait for revenge for another ten years. So, a ghost-faced beast's ear will have a chicken leg rice, and an elite finger will have a beef rice. However, we need to overdraw in advance and give it to you in ten years. Pushi, Yang Fan's words amused the girl. Okay, I'll buy you as much as you eat, sister. Really? Then give me two more beef rice dishes. I need more sauce. Oh my, you've already eaten two servings, so you're not afraid to hold on. Yang Fan is indeed starving, and the strengthening of his body through cultivation is very obvious. However, he is not yet in the period of integration and cannot break through the valley. He can only absorb the necessary energy from food. The stronger the body, the higher the calorie expenditure. That is to say, if you cultivate the power of a governor, your appetite must also become similar to that of a governor. In the past, on earth, during his apocalypse period, he had to eat 10 pounds of beef and 5 pounds of noodles a day, which was like a food incinerator. I'm not afraid, if it weren't for my fear of making you poor, I could have had two more servings. The nurse supported her chin with both hands and said with a smile, Hee hee, the food here is free. It's all free. Yang Fan was taken aback and said, Ah. This. Isn't it that I'm at a disadvantage? Hee hee, what do you want? The girl pinched his little face. Sister, don't you have a boyfriend? 
You're only four years old and you want to be my boyfriend. Do you know what it takes to be in a relationship? Ah. Uh, no. I just wanted to introduce you to a boyfriend. It's the guy I kicked just now. Didn't he retire to the second tier and won't participate in the parachute again? There should be some safety measures. Dot. Moreover, I didn't kick that foot too hard. I'll take care of it for two days. That guy's hard down there, I guarantee you're satisfied. The nurse went directly to the window and brought over two large plates of beef. She placed the beef in front of Yang Fan and asked with a flushed face, Are what you just said true? Chapter 5 First Trial of 10,000 Meter Parachute You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. On December 27, 2531 in the military calendar, on the planet of Onyx, at the Crazy Camp. A warrior wearing green Mark V Thor's hammer armor is standing in the middle of the camp. He was tall and looked up at the sky, as if waiting for something. 10D-96 Albatross heavy troop transport ships flew into the starry sky, preparing to land on Aoshing. Each troop transport ship carries nearly 50 children, with the youngest being only four years old. Young Fan was somewhat speechless. Some of these children cry, some laugh, and some even enjoy the game of lifting the girl's skirt. He, a former cultivator with a psychological age of nearly a hundred years, is unable to integrate into it. A small bald head bumped into Yang Fan. What's your name? You should say your own name before asking someone else's name. Oh my name is June, and you? Little Bald looks around seven years old, much taller than him, and is also one of the few quiet and quiet children who don't cry or fuss. My name is Yang. Nice to meet you. June reached out his hand, wanting to shake hands with him. This surprised Yang Fan a bit. How could a seven-year-old child be like an adult? He didn't notice that he was still standing upright with his hands on his back, as if he were a pretender. At this moment, another boy about the same height as June reached out his hand and said, My name is Emil, nice to meet you all. Yang Fan was taken aback for a moment. This Emil was also a pretender, shaking hands with people, and his other hand was still behind his back. He thinks these two children are very interesting and may become powerful warriors in the future. So Yang Fan extended his hands and looked at June and Emil respectively. The two children were stunned and also followed Yang Fan's example by extending their hands. The three shook hands. But this handshake is more like a hand-in-hand -hand game, almost singing, dancing, and spinning. The troop transport ship landed in the middle of the base, and Mendez put on his military hat and walked out of the hatch. As soon as he got off the ship, he saluted the tall man and said, Sergeant Franklin Mendez is here to report, sir. The man standing in the middle of the base waiting for them is called Kurt, who, like John 117, is also a second-generation Spartan warrior, codenamed Kurt.051. They were all raised by Mendez himself as he watched them grow up. Spartan warriors are the special combat units with the highest individual combat power among all human armies. There were only a few dozen Spartan warriors in the second phase, but they repeatedly made remarkable achievements on the battlefield and were invincible. Kurt's current official position is captain, and he is also the overall manager of the third Spartan training program. That. Coach Mendez, you're too polite. Kurt didn't forget the old instructor's cultivation of them. When they were still children, they often gave Mendez nicknames such as Madman, Demon, Lunatic, Terrifying Monster, and so on. Now it seems that this instructor is still so energetic, but his temples are already white-haired. Mendez was very happy and half-jokingly said, Why don't you have much energy? Did they tie you up? Yeah, don't mention it. The Navy Intelligence Department is really nothing. Mendez was surprised. Who could have tied up the Spartan warriors? Unexpectedly, a joking remark from him turned into truth. He was momentarily speechless and didn't know what to say. Kurt took out a data display board and asked, I looked at the intelligence and said you're participating in the battle. 
After completing the second phase of Sparta training, I voluntarily requested to return to active duty. I have fought against the Star Alliance on five planets. Now I have received orders to train new Spartan warriors. Kota handed him the data board and said, I have looked at some information, and these children's physical conditions and overall qualities are much worse than those of the second phase. I am a bit worried. Mendez gave him a deep glance and said, Don't worry, these children are all good seedlings. They are a bit stronger than you. Which point? They are all war orphans with endless motivation. The children got off the troop transport ship and immediately ran around like wild horses, some even picked up stones on the ground and threw them away. The staff had to gather them together like a flock of sheep. Kurt connected to the broadcast at the base and said, Each of you has lost the one you love. I will give you an opportunity, an opportunity to learn how to fight, an opportunity to become the most elite warrior of the entire United Nations Space Command, an opportunity to take down the Star Alliance bastard. I will give you an opportunity to become someone like me. A Spartan warrior. The children were all quiet, and the little ones who were playing just now became silent. Some children also shed tears on their faces, carrying not only hatred but also hope for the future of humanity. Young Fan stood closest, looking up at the emerald green armor in front of him with a smile on his face. A super powerhouse like John, the Spartan warrior, is finally coming. Then it was Mendez's turn to speak. There were 500 people participating in the training this time, but we will only leave 300 people in the end. Nearly half of them will be eliminated. Those who want to become super warriors now turn around and return to the troop transport ship. The children showed puzzled expressions on their faces, why did they just come and have to leave? No one moved them. Young Fan was the first to move towards a troop transport ship, and no matter what, he wanted to become a super warrior, and he wanted to become the most powerful one. With the assistance of the cultivation system, he believes that this war can be ended. He wants to let those Star Alliance members know that those who are strong in refining chi cannot be humiliated. With his leadership, June and Emil also followed him onto the troop transport ship. Quickly, all the children returned to their original positions. After boarding the ship, each of them was given a parachute bag. Mendez's voice sounded during the broadcast. The first screening project begins. You will parachute at an altitude of 10,000 meters, then meet at a designated location and see the target on the ground during the parachute. Pull the red pull tab to open the parachute, and the blue pull tab to detach from the parachute. Check your equipment now, and the parachute will begin in three minutes. Young Fan was speechless for a moment, did he play so much as soon as he arrived? He remembers that parachuting is usually done at a height of about three kilometers. Exceeding five kilometers is already considered extreme sports. Let a group of little dolls play parachuting. And even at an altitude of 10,000 meters the cabin door opened and a cold and piercing wind blew in. Young Fan, carrying a parachute bag, opened the door and looked down. Below is a large forest, and in the distance, there is a giant beam of light shining into the sky in the open space, which should be the gathering place. But this plane seems to be flying farther and farther away from the beam of light. There was a girl crowded beside him, with a thin and weak figure, only half a head taller than Young Fan. The girl said in a milky voice, You give way. Yan Fan instinctively took a half step, and the girl stepped out of the cabin door, disappearing into the darkness in an instant. Sleeping slot, is this girl so fierce? To be honest, Yan Fan himself is not mentally prepared yet. He was sweating in his palms, and even with his previous Mahayana cultivation, he had not flown as high as 10,000 meters. You give way. You're blocking me. Little thing. Little one. Go ahead. When Yang Fan was still in a daze, a teenager behind him kicked him off. Chapter 6 Punishment Mechanisms for Future People You are listening at novelfull.audio. This plan is too crazy. 
Even Mendez, who was referred to as the devil by the second semester students, was a bit worried. Kurt said, yes, I'm sorry to have you give this order. It's okay, you're their leader. You want to be the person they trust, and I'm their instructor. I have to be their nightmare. At this moment, at a height of 10,000 meters, a four-year-old child is cursing loudly. I'm so. Young Fan was so scared that when he returned to the base, he would definitely beat that kid into a pig's head. Now he is spinning wildly in the strong wind. Don't panic, just pull the red pull tab. Red. Red. It's all pitch black, where can you see the color of the pull ring clearly? Now he has one pull tab on each side, one to open the parachute and the other to detach from the parachute. I was careless. I was in a hurry just now and didn't even look carefully at the parachute. He thought of a poem. If one dies without achieving their goals, it will make the hero's tears fill his heart. He laughed at himself, but he didn't panic because he was a cultivator. Heaven and earth are boundless. Chinkuan borrowed the method. Yang Fan's hands condensed two small fireballs. I see it clearly, there is a red pull ring on the right side. However, he was not in a hurry to pull the pull tab because the height is too high now and the wind here is very strong. If he opens the parachute now, it will be blown far and wide. Oh! A figure in the air passed by not far from him and greeted him. The sound should be handsome. Hee hee, I won't fall behind. He placed his hands together next to him, his body pen pointing straight towards the beam of light. Although there is only a second level of qi training now and one cannot fly yet, it is still possible to simply control qi and increase some thrust. Quickly, he surpassed the other children. Yang Fan flew rapidly towards the position of the light pillar like a flying shuttle. Opening the red pull tab, there was a loud sound of the parachute opening behind me. Then a tremendous force pulled him up, and it was so strong that Yang Fan almost fainted. The four-year-old child's body was still too weak. The final landing site was about two kilometers away from the light pillar, and he felt that he should be the closest to the destination. After all, there was the technique of controlling Qi, and an ordinary little doll could still compete with him as a great cultivator. After walking for about five minutes, sound came from a nearby tree. Hey! Little one, give me a hand, I'm stuck. Young Fan felt the sound familiar, and as soon as he looked up, he saw a twelve-year-old child wrapped in a rope and stuck on a branch. Hee hee, little one, my name is Robert. Robert is the child who kicked Yang Fan off the troop transport ship with one kick, and Yang Fan will not forget this sound. He climbed up the tree and punched Robert in the face. I'll go. Why did you hit someone, kid? This big child was punched to the ground by him. Yang Fan shouted and jumped off the tree branch, if you don't beat out your little boy Mikian today, you'll be considered clean. Robert is twelve years old, tall and sturdy, and this kid is very tough. Even if he is beaten, he will hit Yang Fan hard. Sometimes we still use our heads to attack directly. Yang Fan has short hands and feet, and his defense is also low. In this way, both sides fought back and forth. Quickly, the staff at the base found them. Stop it. Stop fighting. A man in a regular uniform wants to pull them apart. Yang Fan got excited and punched this guy as well. He is not weak now, he punched the man with a black eye. Sergeant Mendez appeared, and he picked up Xiao Yang Fan with one hand and set him aside. Yang Fan wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and said, Fighting doesn't violate the rules, does it? No violation, I hope you can play harder in your next training. Two hours later, all the children were found and 375 people passed the test. A parachute is absolutely safe, and the pull tab is actually not in color order. The first time you open the parachute bag, the second time you pull the parachute, it will detach. And there is a ground-ranging device on this umbrella bag, 
which will automatically open the umbrella bag that is 500 meters close to the ground and has not yet been opened. Mendez is pleased that although some children have been injured, with modern medical technology, these are not problems. The injured children were taken to the nursing center at the campsite for medical treatment. The rest will be eaten in the cafeteria. Based on the results of the first test, you will be assigned different foods. Those who perform well will receive better treatment. The person shouting their name now comes forward to collect the food, and all the food must be eaten without waste, otherwise they will be severely punished. Yan Fan and Robert received two boxes, each containing several fragrant pieces of beef, a small bite of rice, and a purple fruit. They were originally the first batch to land and were very close to their destination, so they could be considered the best gear. Unfortunately, they were fighting and wasted a lot of time. In the end, they could only get the second gear result. Yang Fan was so hungry that he threw the small fruit into his mouth and chewed it, then took a big bite of the beef. This fruit is extremely sour, while the beef is tender and tender, as if it is about to melt in the mouth. In no time, he finished one box and ate the second one. Robert sat opposite him and had just finished a box. He looked at Yang Fan in a daze and said, Little man, can you eat so much? I can eat it. Yang Fan was afraid that he would snatch his own food, so he quickly turned around with his lunch box and ate it in large bites. You. Robert said a word and then belched heavily. You have such a great appetite, it's killing me. This box of beef weighs at least one pound, and two pounds of meat is indeed quite a lot for children. Yang Fan is strange. The test results this time only have three levels. The second level can hold people to death, and how much food can the first level get? After finishing two boxes of food, Yang Fan hasn't had enough yet. He is currently refining on the second level, and his body consumes a lot of heat. Unfortunately, this beef has a really good taste, much better than the ones in the hospital. Sergeant Mendez walked with his hands behind his back in the cafeteria. He shouted loudly, Is there anyone else who hasn't eaten enough? Me, me. Yang Fan raised his hand and shouted loudly. The other children looked at him with strange expressions on their faces. Mendez smiled and asked, How many more would you like? Look at his playful and playful demeanor, don't be fooling yourself. Yang Fan whispered, Three portions. Mendez's expression stiffened, and the smile on his face disappeared. If not, just two servings. Eating 80% full is enough. Then he really got three pieces of food, which was exactly the same as the two boxes before. Yang Fan was very happy. Emil and June walked over, both of them were in the first grade and had already finished the food they were given. After hearing the conversation between Yang Fan and military chief Mendez, the two made a bet. There were four lunch boxes on the table in front of Yang Fan, and he was still holding one in his hand, devouring it greedily. Emil, you lost. Xuyang, how many stomachs do you have in your body? We'll be full after eating a box. Yang Fan looked up and asked with a smile, What are you eating? Our second tier food is quite good. This beef is so delicious, you can try it. No need, no need. The two shook hands repeatedly. We ate the same as you, but only one serving. What? Yang Fan was so shocked that his mouth stopped chewing. Do you only have one? What about the third gear? Sergeant Mendez said behind him, they have three. Why? Yang Fan couldn't understand why he got the least amount of food instead of being the first in the exam, which is different from what he saw on TV. In the past, on earth, whether on TV or in novels, the losers had no food to eat and had to go hungry. That's good, the losers ate three servings. He will get it every time he tests in the future. It's so easy to lie flat and get more food. Ha ha ha, said General Mendez, one serving is already far beyond the appetite of an ordinary child at your age. Two servings are for adults. 
these meals can provide you with the easiest and most nutritious food to digest. The more you eat, the more beneficial it is for your body. You are all too thin and must get stronger as soon as possible. Dot. Young Fan was really speechless. After finishing his last serving, he ran to the children in the third class to take a look. Everyone has three servings of food, and most of them only eat one and a half boxes and then frown and can't eat anymore. He understood that eating too much here is punishment, and these future humans really know how to play. Sergeant Mendez shouted again, if you can't finish eating, you can eat slowly. There are no other tasks left today, and the food you receive must be eaten. By the way, is there anyone who hasn't eaten enough? A girl walked up to Mendez and said, I. I need another one. Young Fan knows this girl. She was the first to jump off the transport ship and also the first child to arrive at the base. Her name is Jin. This girl has a doll-like face, half a head taller than Yang Fan, and is actually a big stomach king. However, Yang Fan was mistaken. The girl is not the king of stomachs. She heard Mendez and Yang Fan's conversation, so she decided to have another one, even though she was about to vomit now. Yang Fan also decided to eat a little more. He is now about 90% full. The key is that he is very greedy for the beef and plans to gather more wool. Why not eat more delicious food? So he received three more boxes of food, and this time he didn't wolf them down, but savored them carefully. June and Emil smiled at each other and each received another share. The three of them sat at a table, next to Robert and the girl who was about to vomit. Jane. Now no one doubts how much more young Fan can eat. Everyone is looking at Jian, June, and Emil betting that this girl will vomit if she takes a few more bites. This time June lost the bet, and with every bite Jian felt like she was about to burst into tears, but she still ate all the second box. Why are you working so hard? Yang Fan picked his teeth with his nails and leisurely crossed his legs. Jane didn't speak, her face turned pale, she sat up straight and didn't dare to move, feeling both amused and pitiful. Sigh, he sighed and took the girl's hand, delivering a burst of true energy into her body. This true chi enters the girl's meridians, warming and nurturing her fragile body. This is a basic operation during the gas refining period, the most basic forging method. It can strengthen the body and accelerate metabolism. In no time, Yang Fan helped her to connect all her meridians throughout her body, and now this girl can be considered as half refining her energy. Gradually, the girl's face softened. She didn't understand what was happening, just looked at the little boy in front of her in confusion. Chapter 7 Practical Simulation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Next, Carter and Mendez led the children around the campsite. Classrooms, restaurants, dormitories, obstacle training ranges, shooting training ranges, medical care centers, and another area is the arsenal. Although locked, Yang Fan is certain that there are energy weapons from the Star Alliance inside. Those things are resources for him to cultivate. Unfortunately, new recruits are not allowed to enter the arsenal. In the next three days, the children received some of the simplest training and then had to undergo group testing. This includes various basic qualities such as endurance, intelligence, tactics, combat, shooting, and so on. Young Fan's performance was very ordinary, he didn't want to be the top bird, and in the end, he and Robert were assigned to the K-team. Each group has 15 children, and Team A has the best performance. As expected by Young Fan, June and Emil are both on Team A. There is also a girl named Jian, whose body has been nurtured by Yang Fan and far exceeds that of ordinary children. This little girl is very intelligent, and she works very hard in everything she does. It's really the kind of hard work that makes Yang Fan feel a bit ashamed at times. He often releases water during testing, or should not be called releasing water, but rather releasing the sea. Starting from tomorrow, in addition to regular training, 
you will have to conduct three hours of actual combat simulation every day. Each team will fight against each other as the action scoring unit. Each enemy killed will earn one point, and each person killed will be deducted one point. The top ten can choose their own food and have one hour of play time. The last ten need to participate in an additional two kilometers of cross dot country running and finish three meals. The children started to stir up. There must be one pound of meat in a regular meal, and a few children have dropped out of training these days due to vomiting. For them, running two kilometers off dot road is not a big deal because there is no set time. Eating three pounds of meat is a childhood nightmare. After Mendez finished speaking, he took out a gun and said, The gun in my hand is an electronic simulation version of the MA5 single soldier fully automatic rifle. It will be sent to you during the actual combat simulation. You will wear light armor, and the person hit will be electrocuted with only a little pain. Now each team comes to collect weapons and equipment. Enter the actual combat simulation field in five minutes. Armor includes helmets, gloves, shoulder protectors, chest protectors, waist protectors, knee protectors, and shoes, which need to be worn separately on the interface of the combat suit. Robert was holding a fully automatic rifle and looked very excited. Finally got the gun. It's so handsome. Cut, Yang Fan said disdainfully, what's this? I even took weapons from the Star Alliance. You're amazing. Robert held the MA5 and fired at Yang Fan. The muzzle shook, and Yang Fan was electrocuted and lay on the ground convulsing. You idiot, are you looking for a fight? Yang Fan was about to cry. This fool is really playing games. It hurts just a little bit, but the taste is much more painful than getting an injection. Mendez picked up the scoreboard and said, K team has lost one player and is now losing one point. Yang Fan lay on the ground protesting, didn't it mean that defeating one adds one point? It should be zero points, right? Beating oneself doesn't count. So the first practical simulation began, and Yang Fan was the first to the sacrifice, and could only sit outside the forest sunbathing. He is not idle, he has been practicing all the time, and a few days later, he will soon break through to the third level of qi refining. It's good to meditate and practice alone now, but unfortunately, the spiritual energy of this planet is not as strong as his hometowns. After practicing for a while, he suddenly realized that the rich spiritual energy should be the energy emitted by the Star Alliance weapon. Humph, when I regain my strength, I must slaughter all these bastards. In my memory, there were at least a hundred people on the farm who were all very kind to him. There was also a beautiful little sister who always made flower wreaths for him and taught him how to weave a straw hat. Unfortunately, this girl was hit by plasma cannons in the first round of bombing and her bones were nowhere to be found. Ah! Perhaps there won't be any pain like this. His heart is a bit chaotic. If a full dot scale war breaks out between humans and the Star Alliance, then the monks of the Mahayana period may not be as powerful as they imagine. Recently, a word that made children's scalp tingle during their conversations. Vitrification. Some children's hometowns have their entire planet burned into glass balls by the weapons of Star Alliance warships. Joking, no matter what kind of cultivation system, it is impossible to have such powerful power. Moreover, he has never seen anyone truly become immortal. During the Mahayana period, cultivators can at most destroy heavy troop transport ships with their bare hands. Wanting to fight a spaceship is simply a pipe dream. In the course taught by the campsite professor, he learned that the smallest light frigates of humanity are 500 meters long, nearly twice the length of previous aircraft carriers. Moreover, all Star Alliance warships have shields, and even giant Mac electromagnetic guns cannot be penetrated in one shot. No matter how powerful his cultivation is, at most he can charge back and forth onto enemy ships. It is estimated that this can also take down a light escort ship of the Star Alliance, but whether he will be injured is unknown. Hee <laughs> hee, thinking about him makes me feel a bit amused. 
tearing a starship with bare hands, is there really such a person in the world? Little one, what are you thinking? Yang Fan turned around and saw the tall coat. Sir. Yang Fan stood up and gave a military salute. Then he asked the question in his heart, can humans really defeat the Star Alliance? Silence, a one-minute silence. Kurt was wearing Mark V armor and couldn't see the expression on his face. But Yang Fan had already felt that it was a sense of helplessness. Yang Fan smiled. Kurt was a bit surprised. He really doesn't know how to answer. As a second Spartan warrior charging at the forefront, he is well aware of the combat effectiveness of the Star Alliance. He wants to cheer the children up and say they can definitely win, but he doesn't want to deceive them. He also doesn't want to express his judgment, which is an absolute blow to morale, even if it's just facing a little guy, he doesn't want to do it. What are you laughing at? Young Fan carried his hands behind his back and said arrogantly, as long as I'm here, you can win. He is a cultivator, a cultivator who wants to change his destiny against the heavens. A hundred years of cultivation have made his character extremely firm. Perhaps he will lose in war or die, but he is very clear that as long as hope is in everything, it is possible. If powerful warriors like Kurt and John also lose hope in war, it would be too bad. Can you guarantee it? Kurt felt a bit helpless. This little guy must have never seen the world before, yet he spoke so wildly. Confidence is a good thing, but one cannot be so arrogant, which is the biggest taboo as a warrior. So he decided to suppress the child's aura. Young Fan shrugged and said, I can't guarantee it. This answer left Kurt speechless, as he prepared many words, even examples of battles, for the next conversation. But this convoluted attitude made him feel a bit uncomfortable. But I can promise you that as long as I am still alive, I will do it. If I have children, I will also let them do it. If my children have children, I will also let my grandchildren do it. The reversal came too quickly, and Kurt was knocked unconscious. He realized he underestimated this four-year-old doll. The heart is like a rock, with a firm will, neither blindly optimistic nor giving up easily. And from his own silence, this child could see the form of war between humans and the Star Alliance. Not bad, not bad, but unfortunately. If this child's physical condition is the same as that of Phase II Sparta, he will definitely become a great warrior. Now all he has left in his heart is regret. Chapter 8 Humanoid Self. Propelled Radar You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The first practical simulation ended very quickly, and as soon as the children entered the field, they began to charge wildly and shoot indiscriminately. After all, they are still just children. This battle was meant to let them experience the atmosphere of war, and these little guys did gain a lot of experience. Young Fan originally intended to give Robert a good lesson, but this kid was the last to fail, and he killed ten opponents on his own. Make K-Team one of the few teams with zero or more points. I'll spare you this time. Next time I shoot randomly, I'll give you a small knife to pull your butt and make you open your eyes. I dare not, Yang, don't be angry. I was just joking around. Robert has been scared by this little doll lately. At first, he even started arguing and fighting. Since he was bagged in the middle of the night, Robert has been wearing clothes and no longer dares to disrespect Yang Fan. There is a hint of treating him like a big brother. After the results were announced, Team A showed astonishing strength. All 15 people survived and earned a total score of 107 points. There were eight lunch boxes in front of Yang Fan, and he chewed on sweet and sour pork tenderloins, feeling a bit dissatisfied. That means I didn't participate, otherwise your Team A wouldn't have enough to watch. Ha <laughs> ha. Emil burst out laughing and sprayed the meat out of his mouth. He quickly picked up the meat on the table and stuffed it back into his mouth. June touched his bald head and said, You don't know, our captain is really impressive. He found us a high ground with sniper positions and cross-fire points. 
He also dug a pit across from the high ground and made a hidden ambush point. The most satisfying time was when I shot down the entire team with one bullet. Upon hearing these words, Yang Fan felt a bit guilty. He had never participated in a war in his previous life, and not to mention sniper positions or cross-fire points, his average shooting performance was not as good as Jungo's. Upon hearing what he said, he dared not speak up again. What is your captain's name? Why do you understand so much? Emil said, his name is Carter, he's eleven years old and he came from Bikexing. His hometown has been vitrified. To avenge his parents, this guy has read a lot of books. Reading Yang Fan opened the second lunch box and picked it up. My mouth is filled with food and my face is bulging. Reading can bring revenge. Yes, he wants to be a commander, with tactics, tactics, and command of troops. He always says that teamwork is more important than individual abilities. Robert was listening happily when someone behind him shouted, get out of the way. As soon as he turned around, he saw that it was Jian from Team A. This girl always sat next to Yang Fan every time she ate, as if she was possessed by a demon. You sit, you sit. Robert squeezed his remaining two lunch boxes towards June and Emil. Yang Fan looked and saw this little girl again. Every time she ate, Jane would always sit next to him, and every time she couldn't eat, she would hold his hand. He was also convinced. He helped this little girl open her meridians, and if she wanted to further enhance her physique, it was not just a matter of warm cultivation. She had to be taught to practice. Yang Fan has no intention of exposing these things when he lacks self-protection ability. But this little girl was enchanted, and suddenly started challenging three boxes of ordered meals with his hands. And she really ate it, this is definitely a psychological effect, right? Even June and Emil can only eat two servings. Perhaps. This is not a bad thing either. With simple blonde hair and blue eyes, Emil has been jokingly saying that this girl is Yang Fan's girlfriend. These little ghosts, they don't even know what their boyfriends and girlfriends do together, do they? Stinky kid, you're here. Yang Fan looked up and said, I'll go. Brother Steel Egg. Stinky kid, what Steel Egg brother did you say to Alice? Who is Alice? My wife. Steel Egg brother's face turned red, he threw a large box of chocolates to him, waved his hand, and left. It seems that after putting in a lot of effort, I succeeded. Is marriage so fast in this world? Hee <laughs> hee, one must enjoy life to the fullest, and not let the golden cup empty against the moon. The people on the table were all taken aback, and June curiously asked, What are you saying? Cough, it's nothing, you'll know when you grow up. Everyone is speechless the next day, after attending the course and training in the morning, the actual combat simulation still started at 1 p.m. At this time, Yang Fan's cultivation had already surpassed the third level of gas refining. He can be certain that apart from those two-meter Spartan soldiers, other ordinary soldiers should not be able to beat him. When encountering Iron Egg Brother again, he can also shoulder it head. On. Cultivation not only enhances his strength and speed, but also enhances the five senses of the human body. Yang Fan's senses of hearing, sight, touch, taste, and smell have all been further improved. He heard of the elite warriors he met with John in his hometown. Now as long as someone is breathing within 20 meters, he can basically determine the accurate direction. A team of 15 people ran quickly in the forest, and soon they found a hidden hill. The captain of this operation is Robert, because other buddies think Robert is very capable of playing. The captain of each action is chosen by everyone, and if there is no special candidate, they take turns serving as the team leader. This is a custom rule set by Team K themselves. Yesterday, Team A's performance opened everyone's eyes, and the children followed suit and decided to play more seriously. Robert didn't understand any tactics either. Yesterday, he heard June say they had found a high ground, so he ran for a long time and found a high ground with a wide view for everyone to hide. 
After waiting for five minutes, there was silence, ten minutes, twenty minutes, and half an hour without any movement. This has made my friends a bit impatient waiting. The actual simulation field is five kilometers in radius, and each team enters from different directions. It should be easy for more than 300 people to meet without any sound, which is quite strange. In fact, yesterday's record of Team A had already spread throughout the military camp, so almost all teams chose to ambush nearby and wait for rabbits. This is also why Carter asked the children to spend a lot of time participating in practical exercises. Human learning ability is very strong, and every practical battle can help children grow. In just one day, they have already changed their habit of being bombarded with cannon fodder. Young Fan became impatient as he gestured to Robert. I'm going out to investigate, you guys wait. This tactical gesture was just learned this morning, and Young Fan remembered it all after reading it once. But other children don't have such a good memory as him. Robert didn't understand either, he just nodded and stared blankly at Young Fan walking away. After walking for about five minutes, Yang Fan stopped in his tracks. There are people moving at three o'clock ahead. It seems that these people's tasks are the same as mine, they came out to investigate. He quietly climbed onto a tall tree and hid among the dense leaves. Hee hee, we'll get three points first. In this battle, he plans to let these furry guys know what Jiang or Lao Lai is. A dense gunshot startled the three people who were approaching, and the three children immediately lay on the ground. Yang Fan was depressed. He hadn't fired yet, and the sound of gunfire came from somewhere. All three of them hid in his shooting blind spot, so he had to hold his gun and continue waiting for the opportunity. Chapter 9 Command-Oriented Talents You are listening at NovelFull.audio the gunfire lasted for five minutes, followed by silence, indicating that two teams had engaged in an encounter. After hearing the gunshots, the three children got up and continued walking forward. The the the, a two-dot second shot, the three of them fell down, and Yang Fan saw on the display screen of his helmet that his team had scored three points. Very good, he jumped off the branch and continued walking forward. A child on the ground complained, you're naughty, what's your ability to climb trees? Young Fan was also speechless, ignoring these little brats and continuing to move forward. After walking for about ten minutes, he clearly felt that there were many people behind a huge rock ahead, at least ten people. He even heard a girl say she wanted to pee. Then a little girl left the boulder and ran to squat in a distant grass. Young Fan actually had the intention to take a shot at this moment, but it's a bit unfair to do so. So he still found a big tree to climb up, and when the little girl put on her pants and ran back, he shot. Enemy attack, seek cover. A group of children suddenly ran out from behind the boulder, running in all directions. Okay, I used to hide well, but now I'm running around like a frightened chick. Yan Fan casually shot on the tree, and some children kept falling. These children were extremely panicked. They didn't see the enemy from all directions and didn't even want to go and see, resulting in all of them being killed in action. Young Fan smiled and walked past them with his hands crossed over his waist. You're being naughty, you're hiding in a tree. Young Fan couldn't help but say, I'm really. This is a tactic, do you understand tactics? Oh, I understand. Thank you for your guidance. Several children nodded with a sudden realization on their faces, and then they walked out of the forest dejected. This is a team of 15 people, and now K team's score has increased to 18 points. Humph, winning the first place is just around the corner. Young Fan was very proud, and he didn't walk cautiously. Instead, he walked forward with devilish steps. He is equivalent to carrying a 20-meter range detection radar, and in this forest, he is like driving a car without any worries. After walking for about five minutes, Yang Fan noticed something was wrong and seemed to have been followed. He stopped, and the person behind him also stopped. He ran back, and the other person quickly retreated. Yang Fan wondered in his heart, 
why does the other party also have radar? How do they know my movements? The continuous gunshots rang out, and I don't know which two more teams were encountered. This chaotic gunfire disrupted Yang Fan's radar enough. Now he can't even determine where the person behind him is. Suddenly, a strong wind came from behind, and Yang Fan Lai was still listening attentively to the gunshots, not noticing the surprise attack. I was kicked in the butt and fell backwards. I'll go. If you don't talk about martial arts, you'll launch a surprise attack. Ha, huh, it's Yan. Let's have a duel between two people. Emil. It seems that he relied too much on the sound radar. Yang Fan felt a sense of fear in his heart. If he didn't want to engage in close combat, but just give himself a shot, he might end his record today. He shouted, then come on, one dot on point one. Emil dropped his gun and ran towards him. Yang Fan squinted his eyes and raised his gun before shooting. He didn't expect Emil to be an honest child, he said he was one dot on point one, but I didn't say he couldn't use robbery. Emil reacted very quickly, crouching in front of him and rolling over, instantly approaching Yang Fan. Yang Fan lowered his gun and prepared to shoot again, but was shot away by Emil with one elbow. Yang Fan shouted, you're being naughty. Ah. Emil didn't react and stopped his hand. Where did I slack off? With a slap, Yang Fan kicked him away and collided with a tree. Suddenly, there was a sound of electric current, and Emil was judged dead in action. Ha! Huh. Even melee attacks count. Yes, Emil covered his chest and looked aggrieved. You're a naughty kid. You're the most naughty. Then Emil stood up and pressed the button on his helmet, saying, It's Yang. He likes to climb trees and is better at close combat than me. Be careful. Who are you talking to? Team communication channel, don't you know? No one has said so. Don't you even try out the functions of the equipment you have in hand. Hee <laughs> hee. Emil made a face and clapped his hands before leaving. Young Fanfone was in a mess, this. This is the second time he hasn't checked his equipment. Teach me a lesson, a bloody lesson. So he also clicked the button on his helmet and said, Hey, can you hear me? On the other side, members of Team K were startled when they heard the sound inside their helmets. Yang. Where are you? Robert looked bewildered, and they were in a commotion. They only heard Yang Fan's voice, but they didn't know it was coming from inside their helmets. Then there was a burst of gunfire, and the helmet displayed. Fourteen members of K team were killed in action. I'll go, this is being surrounded by someone. Young Fan has to bear the blame for this, and if he doesn't speak to make the team members make a sound, they will still be hiding well. The enemy is Team A, and this group of children keeps walking out of the forest, entering from other directions, and then sneaking into other hidden teams from behind. Carter is truly a commanding talent. After entering the battlefield for twenty minutes, he judged the situation and decisively led the team out of the forest. The rear-end collision operation has begun. Team K, like the other children, ran inside for a while and then found a high point to guard the forest. The slightly smarter team even sent secret sentries to both sides. Few teams could have imagined that someone would flank from behind. Young Fan is still tinkering with the gun in his hand suffering two major losses in a row. He plans to study the equipment in his hand. Upon investigation, the mechanism was indeed found on the gun, and this fully automatic rifle is also equipped with a scope. No wonder, no wonder Emil can hide and seek under his own sound radar. Cut. He opened the scope and looked around, quickly discovering a person waving at him fifty meters away. June. The da da zi la yang fan convulsed and fell to the ground. He only found out during dinner that Jun and Emil were working together to track him through the team channel. After he engaged in two gunfights with others, Team A sent two people to investigate the location of the gunfight. Jun is responsible for reconnaissance at the high point, and Emil is responsible for the assault. 
If it weren't for that gunshot that made Emil take the risk to advance, he wouldn't have been defeated by Yang Fan. Jun's shooting range could have protected him from being harmed when facing at least three enemies. Unfortunately, after Emil's advance, Jun's perspective was blocked, which was also the focus of the tactical summary of Team A afterwards. Do you still do tactical summaries? Yeah. After the training, we had a half-hour meeting. What about you? We. Yang Fan blushed. Robert shouted on the side, we're going to have ice cream. Yang Fan covered his face, it's embarrassing. Fortunately, he's a four-year-old child now. If he were an adult, he would definitely perform improvisation and dig three rooms and one living room with his toes. In this battle, Team A lost one person and scored 188 points. K Team was all killed and scored 4 points. Chapter 10 First Encounter of Enemy You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the following battles, Team A will no longer be able to obtain such high scores. The highest record for Team K was 50 points, which was when Yang Fan went crazy and killed three teams in a row with amazing speed and reaction ability, but was ultimately killed by June nowadays, various teams are competing in tactics, and Yang Fan's tree climbing tactics have also been quickly learned, and some have even developed trap tactics. Yang Fan has suffered two losses in the trap. The children learned a lot of lessons in practical combat, and Kotes specifically explained several classic battles, including examples of how their Spartan soldiers faced tens of times the enemy's total annihilation and victory, which also opened Yang Fan's eyes. For years later the children gradually adapted to the life here, and Yang Fan also practiced to the fifth level of the Qi refining realm. The higher the path of cultivation, the higher the difficulty. Yang Fan did not have the resources of spirit stones and elixirs, so he could only practice hard. And now he still needs to spend a lot of time learning other things. Combat skills, tactical awareness, deployment of troops, and various information about both the enemy and ourselves. In the past four years, everyone has undergone significant changes. Yang Fan is already 1.6 meters tall, but the biggest change is not in him. Hee <laughs> hee, Brother Yang, well, how many servings are you planning to eat today? I want to challenge three times. Oh, eating too much can make you fat. It's okay, I train a lot every day. Yang Fan felt a bit helpless. Jian still habitually sat next to him, but the girl wouldn't touch him when she was about to die. Every time before eating, Jian would touch Yang Fan's hand, which was like a religious ritual. However, it is gratifying that this little girl's personality has become much more outgoing, no longer as bitter and bitter as before. It seems that the more brilliant and charming the invention is. Over the past four years, children's physical fitness and fitness have greatly improved, and real dot life simulation scenarios have also become larger and larger. Young Fan helped several friends warm up their bodies, including Robert and the captain of Team A, Carter. Now he is very familiar with Carter, and he needs to learn tactics, which is also a skill he must learn to counter the Star Alliance. Immortals always like to take the most direct path, because their goals are like a long night with no end in sight. Today's battle simulation is about to start again. Robert hooked Yang Fan's shoulder and asked, Boss, how will we play today? Today, Field 3 is filled with large rocks and a lot of cover, which is not suitable for long dot range attacks. Use a triangular plum blossom formation. Okay. Team K quickly dispersed after entering the field. A team of five people dispersed in a plum blossom shape, with the middle person holding a semi dot automatic shooter rifle, and the outer four people using the standard MA5. Divide 15 people into three small teams to form a triangular formation and move. When encountering enemies, they can support each other and quickly form firepower advantages in all directions. The area ahead is mostly half a person high stones, and there is a hillside not far away. They are slowly moving towards the hillside according to their formation. Suddenly, a dense burst of gunshots appeared simultaneously, 
with at least five teams firing at the same time. Young Fan was a bit surprised, did they all collide together? Site 3 is much larger than the previous forest Site 1, so there shouldn't be so many teams colliding together. Then he heard the sound of a group of people running. No, this is not the sound of marching and running. The pace at this speed is more like running for life. Darda Darda gunshots were heard everywhere. And these gunshots only lasted for a short time before they ended. A group of people ran over from across the slope. Yan Fan thought there was something fishy about the situation, so he opened the team's communication and said, don't shoot. Take cover for everything. The person who came first was the captain of Team A, followed by nearly 50 children who were all running at a fast pace. What's going on? Robert was puzzled for a moment. Before anyone else could speak, Carter shouted, Star Alliance troops, stun bullets are ineffective. K-Team stays for one minute. After one minute, no one is allowed to stay, all gather at the base's arsenal. This is not an exercise, be aware that this is not an exercise. Young Fan immediately understood what had happened. Star Alliance has already reached Aoshing. Although this is unlikely, the current situation no longer allows him to think too much. He immediately shouted, K-Team continues to hide behind cover, no probing, no shooting. Carter's team quickly crossed the K-Team's position, with blood on his body and many of his friends injured. Many of them had tears in their eyes, but more of them were filled with anger. Jin supported the injured Jun, but there was no trace of Emil. Yang Fan heard the heavy footsteps behind them. According to the judgment, there are at least one elite warrior, five ghost-faced beasts, and ten jackal wolf warriors. The sound of plasma weapons, gunshots, and grenade explosions kept ringing. At two o'clock direction, one group is preparing flash bullets. A distance of twenty meters. Five, four, three, two, one, throw. Five flash bombs were thrown over the hillside, which hindered the footsteps of the Star Alliance troops. The current practical exercises no longer use infrared bullets, but stun bullets, which can be very painful when hit. So the armor plate was replaced with a metal armor plate. The grenade is also a low dot end version of the stun grenade, which can stun people within a radius of 2 meters. Only flash bullets are completely live ammunition. The Star Alliance troops behind the hillside were startled by the flash grenade, and their eyes were completely hit by the light of the flash grenade. They were covering their eyes and howling. Yang Fan knew that there was at least one person across the street who had not been dodged. There was a wave of energy on the hillside, and an invisible elite warrior rushed out. Two o'clock direction, ten meters away. Grenade throw, now immediately. Everyone. More than ten grenades were thrown simultaneously and exploded in front of the invisible elite warrior. The other party thought it was still a flare and hid with a stone. This only delayed him by five seconds, and the large army of the Star Alliance rushed out from behind the mountain slope. A plasma bomb hit the rock that Yang Fan was avoiding, shattering a corner of the giant rock. Not enough, not enough time, Yang Fan tried everything possible but couldn't hold the other party for a minute. The other children don't know the position of the elite, but this guy can charge into the formation in just ten seconds. Three o'clock direction. Two, three sets of flash bullets. Distance of ten meters, throw now. After nearly four years of cooperation, my friends have become accustomed to commanding the team. They did not consider whether Yang Fan's orders were correct, but directly executed them. Ten flash bombs arrived in front of the invisible elite from all over the tribe. Yang Fan also rushed out. He shouted, suppress the enemies on the hillside, shoot indiscriminately, and immediately retreat after running out of bullets. Three plum blossoms fired bullets at the same time, and the Star Alliance troops rushing down the hillside all laughed. They have already suffered a lot from this type of bullet. The ghost-faced beast has rough skin and thick flesh, and the stun bullet can only scratch them. 
The jackal warriors each hold a large circular light shield in their hands, which even the 14.5mm caliber SRS-99 sniper rifle cannot break. Heaven and earth are boundless. Chen Kuen borrowed the method. Yang Fan shot a small fireball and then picked up a stone with a large head and threw it at the elite's position. This is his first time using spells on Aoxing, and now he is facing real enemies and cannot hide anymore. The Star Alliance is not only powerful, but also very cruel. They never leave humans as prisoners, and those damn ghost-faced beasts even treat humans as food. Yang Fan had to use his skill to see the family, and after throwing the stone, he placed his hand on the dizzy grenade at his waist, constantly infusing his true energy. The fireball hit the opponent, causing a ripple in the energy protection device of the elite armor. The other party clearly hasn't seen this thing, but it's not a big deal. After being hit, they didn't even lose 0.1% of their shield. Then he slapped the flying big stone away. Stupid humans. The elite did not show any signs, but rushed towards him at an extremely fast speed. Train. Yang Fan's only feeling was being hit by a train. He had a broken bone in one arm, was in pain all over, and his mind was buzzing, almost losing his ability to think. This is the strength of elite warriors.